today's video we are going to be uh, showing you how to make an outro in Sony Vegas Pro 12. Now I'm familiar with Sony Vegas Pro 12 and 13 but the older versions of Sony Vegas I'm not really sure if this will work but I'm pretty certain that it will. Anyways we are going to be making an outro for your videos so this is not going to be one of those 3D intros, it's going to be a simple outro that attracts people and it's going to be a little bit fancy. Uh, anyways, this is going to be easy to make, I promise you it, there is nothing hard about this. Uh, all you need is to just follow the directions and you'll be good to go. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So this is the outro that you're going to make, this is how it's going to look like. All right, so there you go. That's the outro we are going to make. Now you can customize it. You can make the background blue, red, you know, whatever color you want. Personally, I prefer black, but let's go ahead and get started. So let's launch Sony Vegas Pro. Alright, so once you launch Sony Vegas Pro, uh, it might look like th uh, it might not look like mine, but um, I'm pretty sure uh, you guys have the same version of Sony Vegas Pro. Anyways, let's go to File, New, and let's make the uh, new project. So I like to keep my settings to HD 1080p, uh, you know, at 60i and uh, I like to put it at 29.9 frames per second. Over here the pixel ratio you can just leave that at square we can change that later uh, if you have any problems with that so just click OK. Once you make your new project go ahead and go to uh, Google Images and look up some images you want. For example look up a red background or a black background and make sure you type in 1920 by 1080 HD make sure you type that in I'm gonna show you guys what uh, you need to do so go to Google Images and uh, for example red uh, background 1920 by 1080 and these are the backgrounds that I prefer this is the resolution that uh, looks really nice on YouTube so uh, you know you can choose anything and just click and drag the image to your desktop and you're good to go. Anyways uh, right here I have my background so I have the black uh, background here so what I do is just click and drag it to Sony Vegas. Once you click and drag it to Sony Vegas just keep dragging it down uh, I'd say about 10, 10 down uh, maybe 12 so just keep dragging it down so you can put some other things alright so that's good uh, it really does not matter how many you have the more the better uh, in my opinion anyways so right here you have a background and when you play it there's really nothing it's just an image so we're gonna add some stuff to it so we're gonna go down we're gonna scroll to make this bigger and we're gonna take this we're gonna take uh, our pointer here and we're gonna fade. So for me, I like to keep it at either 18 or uh, 15. So we're gonna go with 16 here, right in the middle. So that's that looks good right there. You can personally, you can uh, make it to whatever uh, you like. So that's my fade right there. Anyways, once you have that done, go ahead and go to your folder or actually go to Google Images and look up the subscribe button right here. Just look up YouTube subscribe button and you'll find this right here. And uh, once you find this on Google Images, go ahead and click and drag it to, to your Sony Vegas timeline. And once you drag it to your Sony Vegas timeline, click the box right here and now you can resize it. So if, if I go right here and as you can see here I can make it bigger or smaller uh, and I can put it right about there right in the middle right there that's good so put it right there 
and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna synchronize this so make sure the subscribe button fades in just like the uh, timeline here so as you can see there we have a subscribe button and a background anyways once you have the subscribe button in the middle go back to uh, Google images and look up 1920 by 1080 white background now this again you can personalize this you can make the boxes blue red green whatever personally I'm gonna use white so we're gonna drag two of these actually we're gonna drag the first one uh, here and we're gonna configure this one so we're gonna put it to 16 we're gonna go uh, right here so you can see it's like this big white box here so we go back to uh, the uh, video event effects and then we can resize it make it bigger smaller whatever uh, personally I put uh, one on the left and one on the right you can just put one in the middle so you can make that bigger but uh, personally I prefer uh, putting two in the middle so that right there is good now once you have this one set you can right click on this one copy it and paste it to the other timeline right here and now when you uh, play it you're gonna have two on top of each other so go back to the video event effects and just uh, move this one to the other side and make sure they're aligned correctly so that looks about right and once it's aligned correctly you're good to go so uh, this is all synchronized when we play it it's all synchronized and uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add uh, the like button so go ahead and put the like button here so look up uh, like button on uh, Google images very simple now once you uh, put the like button in the timeline again resize it make it smaller and uh, I like to put mine at the bottom of the, in the bottom of the screen on the left uh, left hand side. So we're gonna make this a little bit smaller. We're gonna put it right about there. All right, that looks about right. And we can just make it a little bit more smaller. That looks about right. So once you have the like button set, go ahead and synchronize it with the fade and offset for so it can look like the other attachments here so once you play it you can see that it all fades in everything fades in the subscribe button the like button the boxes everything is um, timed correctly now we're gonna move to uh, the text so we're gonna add a text now people like to put their YouTube name over here or they just you know put something uh, whichever you like you know you want to put something here that you know makes the outro look like it's yours so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna click on the timeline so we're gonna right click on the timeline and we're gonna go to insert new uh, or insert text media now once you click that you're gonna get this right here now make this uh, it's usually gonna be synchronized with your video it's gonna be about the same time so make sure this is synchronized to 16 so we're gonna go to the text here and we're gonna edit it so we're gonna right click go to edit generated media alright so once you click once you go to edit generated media go ahead and type in your channel name for example mine is hyper tux and you can just put it up here so uh, you can also make it smaller bigger it's up to you so hyper tux right there that's my channel name and uh, let's make it a little bit uh, fancy let's go to uh, that looks fine right there so let's make that a little bit bigger right there and uh, it's up to you to uh, change the color and you know make it look nice anyways once you have the channel name up here go ahead and right click again and insert a new text media now this time you're gonna put a text media under the boxes here so for example I'm gonna put this one I'm gonna put uh, Radeon R9 270X review 
and uh, make sure everything is spelled correctly and uh, whatnot. You don't want people to <laughs> uh, read something that's not spelled correctly. Anyways, once you do that, go ahead and make sure that this is aligned correctly. So right below the video here and just exit out of that. And then you can always adjust this, make it look better. It's always up to you. So we're gonna put that right there and we're gonna make this synchronize as well. Now over here you can put another video, but for now we're just gonna use one. So we're gonna go to, uh, we're gonna find a video basically or an image that we can place on the boxes right here. Now once you put the video here, uh, it's gonna be quite lengthy. If, it, if it's a long video, you're gonna need to trim it. So just go ahead and trim it. And uh, once you trim it, make sure you mute the audio. So mute the audio right here. And then uh, make sure it's aligned correctly. And uh, whatever you want to be displayed over here, you can do that. So we're gonna synchronize this as well. So uh, right there, about 16 milliseconds or so. So once we play it, as you can see there, the video is on top of everything. So we need to make this smaller. We need to, uh, you know, make it into a letterbox. So uh, again, just like you did with the other attachments here, go to this box right here, and then make it smaller. And uh, make sure everything is aligned correctly. All right, so once you have the video in the box, or once it looks good uh, go ahead and just close this and you're pretty much done um, you can always add another one most of you guys are gonna put two here so that's why I gone ahead and showed you guys how to do two uh, whatever I did here do the same on the opposite side it's all good so uh, all we need to do is just add a little bit a little bit of music so we're gonna use uh, some music from the royalty-free YouTube library. Now make sure when you're using music in your YouTube videos, do not use any copyrighted songs. You will get flagged and your videos won't be, uh, they, won't, they won't pay you any money because you have a copyrighted song in your video. Anyways, uh, you can always use the uh, YouTube library they have a bunch of uh, music there that you can use for your own videos and these are some of the songs that I downloaded from their own website so just go to YouTube uh, music or uh, YouTube free royalty music anyways I'm gonna use the dub zap right here this is a good song in my opinion so this is the one that you saw in the video uh, in the beginning of the video so we're gonna put that uh, right here. So just put this right there, and uh, make sure you know it's to, it's to the part where you you want it to be. So we're gonna go and fix it a little bit. You know, tweak it. Make sure it's loud too. So all right. So we're gonna just is this a little bit shorter? And then put that right there. So we're gonna play it right now. All right, so that wasn't very long, and the music wasn't really synchronized. So we're gonna you know, go back and make the music a little, you know, to the part where I like it. Now you can always make this video longer. So just drag everything to make it longer and make sure everything is synchronized uh, good. So once you have your outro here completed, go to File. And once you go to File, go ahead and go to Render As. And once you go to Render As, go ahead and name your video. Now what I like to use is this preset right here. If you go to Windows Media Video uh, version 11, the .wmv, I like to use the last one. It's the highest quality and it looks the best in my opinion. So once you title your uh, video or your outro and select this preset right here, go ahead and click render. And once you click render, that's pretty much it. You can use your outro on pretty much uh, any video out there. So. 
uh, anyways guys if you enjoyed the video and if you're interested in more videos like this be sure to tell me in the comments below anyways if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that like button and subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one peace